Welcome back to Ghost Club Paranormal. Tonight we have an insane location for you guys. We are at Indiana State Sanatorium. Originally built in 1909 as the Indiana State Tuberculosis Hospital. TB is a deadly airborne infection that typically eats away at the lungs and spreads fast. Some methods used to treat tuberculosis were extremely painful and unnecessary, resulting in loss of life anyway. In the 1950s, the five-story building was added, which housed psychiatric patients and the criminally insane. By this point, the hospital's reputation was on the decline due to untrained staff, escaping patients, and questionable deaths on the property. The living conditions got so bad that the state suddenly shut it down in 2011, where everyone was forced to leave their belongings behind, never to return again. into tonight's episode, I have to address something with you guys. Something that is more scary than anything that we've ever encountered on an investigation before. And that is online hackers. So we're partnering up with PIA VPN to ensure that our viewers are safe from anybody trying to exploit your private information. Did you know that whenever you connect to the internet on a public Wi-Fi network such as airports, coffee shops and friends' houses or even your own home, you are at risk for hackers getting access to your passwords, browsing history, private chat, and even your personal photos. But now with PIA, you can hide your IP address, which will shield your digital life from the eyes of your internet service provider, network administrators, and government censors. And now I feel safe knowing that my private information isn't being exploited. Private internet access also allows you to access region restricted content from all over the world. All you have to do is change your IP address to one of the 91 countries provided, and you can browse TV shows that would usually be restricted in your region. This is handy for me because now I can and watch all my favorite British TV shows in the comfort of my home in the US. So protect your entire household today and install PIA VPN to your phones, your computers, your consoles. Trust me, it is better to be safe than sorry. Signing up is completely risk-free. They will never record, they'll never sell, they'll never store your data. So what are you waiting for? Use our link in the description below and grab yourself an 83% discount on private internet access and you'll also unlock four months completely free. Massive thank you to PIA VPN. Now, let's get back to the episode. We're also joined tonight by Steve and Dylan from Haunted Nights. What's up, guys? What's you up? guys have been here a bazillion yeah. times before. Facts. We actually done like a little bit of a walkthrough earlier. And when you guys went out for dinner afterwards, uh, tell us what happened because this is insane, guys. Yeah, so we went to a restaurant that we've been going to literally for the last four years here. Yeah, and we sit, coming in. Yeah, we sit down and we get a waitress tonight, and uh, she asked what we're doing in town, and we said we're ghost hunting. She said, Oh, you're up at Lee Allen Bryant. I said, Yeah, we've been out there a bunch. She said, Well, I used to work there. And so she just went off on about a half hour of stories from when she worked here. She worked here right until it was shut down by the government. Yeah. Which is crazy because we've never talked to her. We've no. never run into her there. She's always worked there too. Yeah. We've always seen her around, but we've never made that connection. Yeah. So and she was cool. telling us stories about, um, you know, patients that she dealt with while she worked here that are now known to haunt the location. And she remembers them while they were actually living in the buildings. So she basically uncovered a few stories that you guys had no 100%. idea about. Yeah. That's wild. She was telling us about the second floor. There was a woman known as the Wailer. Basically, she would just strip naked and then walk down the hallway just yelling and screaming. And she ended up passing away in the building. And one of her friends actually comes here and does the ghost hunts. Yeah, I heard that. Oh, my God, dude, I'm so... I can't. There's somebody back there. That was in the room. It was in that room. Dude, yeah. I'm so sketched out. We're the only people on site. It was in that room. I was oh. having such a hard time filming you guys because I literally felt like there was someone back there. Oh, it sounded like, like something like, moving. Yeah, it sounded like metallic. You know what's weird as well is with the story that you're telling just now, yeah. this is a story that it's it came from an insider, yeah, right? right. Yeah. I know a lot of people who do tours here and things like that, they get told about the same kind of spirits, the yeah. same stories. So just the fact that we're uncovering like a couple new ones, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's that's really cool. This was 100% a real person was doing this, witnessed by somebody we talked to today. Lived here right. while I was in operation. Saw this all happening right before it closed. That. that happening in. There's another noise in that room over there. Do you want to give me your flashlight? Uh, who's got the flashlight? That was nice. really loud. Anyone got a stone? I can pick up a stone over here. Tonight, 
to who? What the f what, what the f What just talked? What I actually don't know how to respond to that. Siri? To it's who? Like, to who? To who? Guys, I don't even have Siri on my phone. No. Listen, watch. Hey, Siri. It literally doesn't even turn on. That's crazy. I, I don't have well, Siri on my phone. Well, that's the other thing, phone. too. Even if you did have it on your phone, you have to say, hey, Siri. And yeah. nobody even said anything remotely close to that. No. But, like, right as I was about to throw this rock yeah. in there. To Almost who? like, to who are you yeah, throwing to it to? Who? That's weird. I'm not throwing it to anybody in particular. I was just trying to see. I was going to throw a rock in there to see if there's any animals. Right. And then they would run out. That's I'm going to try that again. That was who? freaking right off the bat, that's guys. So Because it would have at least moved if it was an animal. Right. We'd hear it like running Scurry over the water or whatever. We haven't even finished our intro. No, we haven't even got inside the tunnel. Okay, so the whaler. Yes, the whaler is a document. Like, this is a lady that this woman knew and saw every day here when she worked here. There was another gentleman that lived right across the hall from her that um, he was in here because he was like a pyro. He used to set fires and everything. So they made sure he never had anything that would allow him to start fires. No lighters, no matches, nothing like that. Um, she came up one day to go clean his room and she had found that he had gotten a newspaper and torn it up and somehow had gotten his hands on a lighter. And so he had started a fire in his room and she was like, well, I, I can't go in there and try to put this out on my own because he had been known to lash out at people and, you know, was one of the people that was housed here for psychiatric problems. So um, it's just another story of things that we've never heard before. We didn't know this. We didn't know about this guy. We didn't know about the whaler. Um, she but again, about the fifth floor too. Yeah, the fifth floor. She said when she worked here, the fifth floor was used as storage. Like no one was up there. They tried not to go up there as much as they could. Yep. And every time she went up there to grab like supplies or anything, she would hear doors slamming on the other end of the hall. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what was that? It's like a woman. like woman in that, that room. It literally sounded it like, like a, a woman just went, oh, yeah, it was like a, it was like a cry. Yeah. Or a whale. Or a whale. Yeah. Yeah. That was actually really loud. That, yeah, was, that was so crazy. loud. But it's like, what if she, her story has never been told, right? right? And she's like, oh, they're talking about me. Right. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the episode. <laughs> That's a wrap. Get back <laughs> it's haunted. We're, We're done. We're going back to the AC. Did That's you awful. finish that story? Sorry, I can't even yeah. remember. Well, no, yeah, the door slamming on the fifth floor is something that she experienced even when it was in operation. So this place right. was active and haunted even before it was closed. It just, I think it puts that much more credibility to it. She verified everything that yeah. we were talking about on the history tour. You know, they were abusing patients. Some people were, you know, living in pretty terrible conditions. Yeah. She wasn't right. getting paid. And a lot of the people ended up being homeless, which is exactly what we've been told. So it just backs up a lot of the stories that we've been told over the years. And the history isn't just like, you know, hearsay anymore. It's not things that have been told around town. This is directly from the source of somebody that worked here when it shut down. And what's really crazy is when we done our walkthrough earlier, we were in the morgue and I remember that you picked up a piece of paper and you specifically said, oh, Alyssa. Mm -hmm. So when you came back from dinner and you were like, oh, we talked to a girl called Alyssa. I, that was weird. Yeah, because I didn't even remember it. No. You put the connection together. You, you looked at me and you're like, you said that earlier. And I was like, what are you talking about? You're like the paper in the morgue. And it's an employee, and if I remember correctly, that was one of the ones from 2009, which is when she worked here, when it closed. Yeah. So I'm, we have to go see if that, like, is the same lady. Yeah. Because that would be insane. Right. If you want to see the full walkthrough, you can go ahead and become members only of Ghost Club Paranormal. Link is going to be in the description below. You guys get access to extra content from Ghost Club. We also have vlogs coming out from this trip. And you also get emojis, which is pretty cool. Let's go. Give me my flashlight. Like, I know, I'm so I'm scared. There's so many bats so in there right now. Yeah. There are so many bats. There's yeah. so many bats. Now we gotta get through the bats. I was scared of vampires for a second, not gonna lie, guys. Why am I in front? Hey, Very brave. Hey, Very brave. Hey, Very brave. Hey, Did somebody just say hi? No. No. Dude, I just heard a woman go, hi. Oh. I swear, I just heard a woman say hi. I didn't even hear it. Good There's fun. a female here with us for sure. Well, yes, we heard the female voice outside too, so. Oh, yeah. All right, stick together in groups. <sighs> the cross section is never going to Dylan, you're over here with me, so I'm terrified. Will we aim our lights like opposite direction? I don't have a light. Whose fault is that? Uh, yeah, yeah, you didn't want a flashlight, remember? Oh, Alyssa, right here. Oh, shit. What year is it from? Oh, nine. No, no way. It's signed by Alyssa. Alyssa. Name Alyssa. And dude, wait, wait, wait. Spelled the same? No, but the thing is too, this is literally for um, 
checking the rooms, cleaning the rooms, like she did. And she was a cleaner. This is, needs new, new tile in the shower, lo loose toilet from the floor. Said somebody already cleaned the room, didn't want room cleaned. We gotta bring This has to be her. We gotta bring that to her tomorrow. This literally has to be her. Listen, she even signed her name with a heart, so if that's like her signature, that's, you know what I mean? You can confirm it. Yeah. She'll know instantly that's her signature. Yeah. I didn't even know her name until I looked at the receipt. No. I didn't, we didn't like exchange names while we were there. That's not a coincidence. Right. It's spelled the same way too. The people who she told you guys about mm. today, right. I feel like this whaler lady yeah. is probably the one that's gonna and we already come forward. sort of heard a woman wailing outside. Yeah. Oh, it's got chills, dude. That's crazy. Wait, look at the goosebumps. That is ridiculous. Oh my God. Let's just stick on the necrometer real fast and see if just any anything comes through. It's 26 minutes past midnight right now. Uh, so we're starting very, very late. We're definitely gonna still be investigating for the witching hour. I'm gonna put my phone on airplane mode. Is there somebody here that has a message for Alyssa? I mean, it's kind of hard not to believe um, after what literally just happens. Three o'clock. Three o'clock, I just said yeah. three o'clock. We're just talking so about the witching hour. hour. Yeah. Yeah. Three o'clock, something's gonna happen at three o'clock. Mm -hmm. Okay, is this the whaler? Yeah. There's like tapping on the door or something. How many are here with us? Edinburgh. Oh, Edinburgh. shit. <gasps> That's where I was born. Really? That was the town I was born in, guys. That is so weird. I was born in Edinburgh, Scotland. Is there somebody here who was from Edinburgh, maybe? Right. Or is there somebody here that just liked to visit Edinburgh? Right, right. They see you, right, and they're like, oh. Yes, like she's from there. I was from there. I right. went there. Yeah, yeah. So they're totally. trying to relate. If I was a ghost and somebody from right. Edinburgh came in to investigate, yeah. I'd be all about that. Right. What do you want to know? Because <laughs> let me give you the lowdown. <laughs> I don't know if you ever saw Harry Potter, because I don't know when the first Harry Potter movie came out, but the whole of Edinburgh has now turned into a whole Harry Potter of course. thing. And it's terrible. <laughs> I'm so glad that we came back here to fetch yeah. that piece of paper. Yep. That was golden. I'll always remember that. Um, but we gotta get moving with the rest of the investigation. So whoever was here with us, feel free to, to join us for the rest of the night. Okay guys, ready to face these bats? Sure. Yeah. Honestly, I don't even know where we're going. That's true. Do you wanna go to it? the main floor of Edmund? Yeah. Okay, we'll go there right now. There's a lot of bats out here. Oh my God. There's a lot of bats out here. Oh my god. Did you hear that? That wasn't you. No. That wasn't you. No. Nobody. Was that you trying to communicate with us? Were you letting us hear your voice right now? Who are you? Go. You got it, buddy. Bring the numbers. Mm. They have more numbers than us. Oh, yep, there's one in here. Oh, God. Yep. oh God. That's just, that's... You're so brave. <gasps> Dang, dude, that almost hit you in the head. Uh, Should we go somewhere else? Nursing home might be safe. Where? Nursing home? Nursing home's probably the safest Okay. Bye, guys. We're not okay. We're so not okay. I thought we were okay. We are so not okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus. Oh, my God. Where'd he go? He was so close. the hands. He's behind us. Oh no. <laughs> he almost hit me in the hand. <laughs> I'm so scared. So they told us a story the other day of a woman who was in one of these buildings and she, a bat flew directly inside her mouth. Oh. She had to get like 19 shots. I think we're good. He's down here. Careful. We're so good. Careful? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, back. Oh. Yeah, aren't you in the army? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do this. All right. Let's close. It said something. Oh. No! Ah! oh my god, guys, look at this fucking spider. I almost just fell into him. Ah! Oh. Right, right, Nothing right. good is happening right now. It said run away. We are. <laughs> it literally said run away. 
don't think there's any bats in here. I don't think there's any strange any in here. Dude, look at here, bro. It's all bad on the tripod. <laughs> Right. Down the hallway. I just saw a flash down there. Flash? Yeah. Can you shine your light down there, Monday? Zoom in. Try. Oh, look at that bat. He said, I've never seen a bat in this hallway before. <laughs> cool, there's six. <laughs> Observe. Well, yeah, we have no other option but to go this way. After that hallway is down to like the mess. Jesus. What, what was that? Did it you was like that? a door. After that hallway is down to like the mess. Jesus, what? what was that? Did there you was like that? a door. Yo. Did you hear that? I heard a voice. I definitely heard a voice. Hello? Is there anybody down there? Lucas. Sounds like him. Hello? There's a lot going on. I'm gonna take that sticker. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take that sticker. Whoever can help us um, get rid of the bats, get the sticker. If you wanna earn yourself a sticker, can you please go ahead and make a very, very, very loud noise for us? Huh, weird. Yeah, okay, now it's quiet. I'm gonna take this for just now. Yeah, can you keep offering it to him? No, it's from me. <laughs> no, it's from me. <laughs> it's from me. <laughs> for being such a good investigator. You scared them away. You scared them away. Oh, I'm sorry. We didn't mean to scare anybody. Do you want to talk to us? Did we hear you? The voice sounded like a female to me. That's what I thought. A lot of you guys would gather here. I would like to ask for you guys to come in here. One really cool thing I think you guys are really, really gonna like is this device right here that Steve's wearing. See these funny looking goggles? He can receive pictures. So even if you don't wanna talk to us and use your speech, you can actually conjure up a picture. Remember that was you? I heard the voice. Yeah, I heard, I heard like an elderly male voice. Yeah, yeah. Right outside I 100% hear that voice. Come on in. I do just want to make sure that we have somebody here with us right now. So if you are here, can you please go ahead and can you touch one of the devices? We have one in the hallway down there. We have this music box. If you like music, then that will play music. It's really cool. We don't mean you any harm or disrespect. We're just here to talk to you. We'd love to have a conversation with you. Steve and I have been here before. You might recognize us. Do you hear like a beep? I thought I heard a beep. Is that one of you? No. Uh oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Maybe it was the red pod we heard slightly beep outside. Oh, I've got a okay. picture. It looks like a. It's like a person, but they're like fading in and out almost. It's really weird. They're like. They're just a shadow, but the top is like a white ball. Like their head is like a white ball, almost looks like a light, and then there's two really long, like skinny arms and then very skinny legs in the room, but they're like pulsing in and out and then it's like a bright bright white background that they're on it's really weird oh my yeah, god it's... it just started up again yeah, it's going up maybe you see these lights coming from the room and like walking towards it and you have to step right in front of it and it only works from the floor and now it's stopped and now it's stopped <laughs> Oh my gosh. That's crazy. That's crazy. We've said it before, but that's a small, small radius. Yeah. Like you have to be in front of it. Yeah. So that means that they're just standing there. Okay, I am gonna open the door. If you're on the other side, I want you to walk in for us. If you can walk in and talk to us, I'll go ahead and I'll give you the sticker. Okay? Yeah, stop. Come on in. Wow, there's an interesting smell. Come on in. Not you, Bat. Just the spirits. The first thing I thought of when we heard the beeping, too, what if it's like someone walking with like something they're hooked up to? Like oh, that's yeah. right. Oh, that's interesting. We're getting a picture right now. Um, oh. This is just an eyeball. 
100% just an eye. Can you see us right now? It almost looks like there's like one teardrop. You don't have to be sad. And if you are sad, I hope that that music box made you feel better. That brings you some sort of solace. You can step in front of that again. So it keeps playing that music. That's crazy. That's really cool. That's nuts. Can you give Steve here a picture of what you would have looked like? Is that possible? Can you show us what you look like? Medium. Medium. <gasps> oh! Whoa! It's like it came over to Steve. Oh. Okay. Yes, you're you're here. Can you show him a picture of what you look like at your best? A lake or something, a big body of water, and then like trees around it, and then like a mountain way off in the distance. Like, but the mountain's like purple, and the sky is all different colors. Maybe they're showing us a time where that would have been their happiest. Their happiest place. That would have been their happiest. Their happiest place. Or something. You know? what, what was that? I, I, I thought I just heard a man's voice go nah, something, but then I looked. I thought it was this, and it wasn't. I can't explain what that noise was. You said medium. Did you want to talk to Mandy specifically? Yeah, another picture. Oh, another picture? Yeah, it is. It's a bunch of like drawings of very, very like weird looking faces and people. Mm -hmm. And then there's one face up close that almost looks like a, I don't know if it's like a sculpture or something, but it's like half a face. My mind just goes to like, when you see like artwork and stuff done by people with like, let's say schizophrenia or something like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. all their different like personalities. It's all just like a bunch of different like drawings of, it almost looks like different emotions. Like they all have different looks on their faces. Stress. 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 Yes. Oh. That's a good emotion. You know, if you were a mentally ill patient here, mm -hmm. um, or even an elderly person who's maybe suffering di with dementia or something like that, um, it really helps to have those kinds of charts so they can point to exactly how they're feeling. How do you feel on the scale? Can I ask you, what is it exactly that is stressing you out? Lost. You're lost? Oh, that's wow. sad. This is a long shot. But I just need like a yes or no, or you can touch a piece of equipment. Are you letting us know that you're suffering memory loss? I don't know if there was anything, but like I'm, I was just standing here, I'm not moving. Absolutely. 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 It felt like someone just like tugged, I don't wear a crucifix. It uh -huh. felt like someone just like tugged on it. It was really weird. Really? I've never had that happen. Yeah. Wow. That was really bizarre. Can you tell us what's the year? Date. Yeah, yeah date. the date. Do you know yeah. what today's date is? Just for safeguarding, I haven't been letting my guard down, so okay. I'm gonna sit down for a minute and I'm just gonna try to open up. Yeah, but I'll just kind of take a seat. Yeah. That's crazy, it said date as well, though. Right after we were asking about the day and yeah. where we are right now. Please come forward. You can use Mandy's energy. There's three spirits in here. There is an older gentleman, there's also a female, and then there's another one, um, younger male. And he just keeps saying over and over, I'm a weirdo, I'm a weirdo, I'm a weirdo. And he's just like, going through a lot. Picture just came through. Uh, it's an older guy with a white beard, and he's got a cane. Black jacket, looks like a tie, white shirt, black pants, black hat, like a white scruffy beard. Not long, but it's a beard for sure. Abandoned. Abandoned? Did you feel abandoned? I'm sorry to hear that. That's the case. It's awful. You didn't deserve that. Were you a patient here? In Indiana? Did you exist in a human form? Yes. Okay. Move down. Move down. Move down. Move down. Like move down the yeah, let's go. All right, guys. Uh, we have talked to the lovely spirits here on the first floor nursing home area. 
but we're ready to take things up just a little notch. So we're actually gonna split up into groups and the way we're gonna decide that is with Mandy's spinny thingy and also the cursed dice of fate. Spin for teams. Spin for teams. Here we go. First team member. Team number one is... Ooh, right, my Mandy's team. team. Mandy. Uh, dang. Who's on our team? <laughs> Who's on our team? Who's on our team? Oh, Who's on our team? Oh, Me and you. Oh, there you go. We're going. Let's do it. Yeah. This is the most Let's complicated see. way of doing things <laughs> on an investigation. Let's see what you get, then we'll roll and we'll see what we get. Doing trigonometry yeah. to figure Let's this go. out. Thank you. Six. Six. Okay, oh. so we just gotta get higher. Man. You got this. Sorry. It's, it's, okay. it's, okay. it's in okay. the back. Higher than six. Here we go. All right. She goes, sorry. <laughs> Two. Oh, eight. Oh, eight. Oh, oh, that was too close. close. That was way too close. So yeah. you guys essentially have the naked uh, lady ghost who runs around and naked screams. and screams. Yeah. I'll have to make sure we have walkies just in case. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. That yeah. decides to. You have to get rabies shots or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> something or if we see a naked lady or running down the hall, actually, do, we'll have I'm to walk nervous. you. I feel like we're yeah. gonna like come face to face yeah. with the whaler. We might not tell you, but there will be signs. That means that me and Dylan, we do have the nurses station with all the bats. Sucks for you, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cover my mouth. I'm not getting no bat in my mouth, so. Two. Three. I'm gonna hold on to your bag. Oh, oh here. On the wall. It's on the wall. Oh, here. It's bird. 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 Oh, shit. Oh, bird, bird. Oh, shit. Oh, bird. Oh, bird. Oh, bird. Wait, yes. Dude, the door. What? Is that the door? Oh my god. Oh, Guys. Wait, hold on. something? Yes, the fucking door. The fucking door. What? Yeah. Because it doesn't it slam. No, yeah. it, 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 it slams. Oh my god, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Oh my god, the door slams. Guys, there's still. Don't leave the door open the back. Hold on, no. There's still fucking, there was still noises coming from inside. inside. Yeah. You guys are going to be going down to the nursing home to the right. That way. Bye. Catch you on the flip side. Bye. Oh my god, I have so much anxiety. Bye. Bye. My, my teammate is making me feel very confident right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. I don't know why, but this building just feels different. This building housed more of like the criminally insane and the like meaner people. That makes sense. That's exciting. It sure is. Because we already have a right, male so spirit following us up the stairs. Right, so I think we have to go right there. I'm just making sure we're on the floor. Okay, so she didn't tell us exactly what room she was in, but she was at the end of one of the halls, she said. So it could be either these rooms here or at the other end down there. And I said she would just come out and take off all of her clothes and walk up and down the halls and like screaming, wailing. Waiting in the hallway. Waiting in the hallway. Are you waiting in the hallway where Steve and Mandy are? I wanna... I wanna... Did you hear that? Yeah. Behind us? Yeah. Was that them? Let's chill out. Fuck off. Hey, uh, did Jade just scream? So we have found the first bat. <laughs> cool. Alright, we thought we already ran into the uh, naked whaler. Okay, so we can definitely hear them from up here. They're not down there yet, though. Oh, we they're haven't made it. No, okay. Oh my god, no, they're. If we can hear them, they're probably still right down here. Okay, well, we definitely heard. This way. Something over here. Yeah. So I had mad, mad anxiety over there. I think that might be where she was at. Okay. I want to feel. What's down uh -oh. there too? There's a bat. Night vision might help. Oh my god. I just know every time I turn off the light, things get weird. It is dark up here. Oh, he's over here. He's so stop, over stop. here. Oh he's god, so. Stop. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Oh my god, I'm right, so scared. He's right behind us. Should we pick a room? Yeah, do you want to pick one of these down here? That one's weird. Uh, this one's weird. Let's go in this one. Okay. Okay, yeah, I think we're okay in here. Okay. Negative. Negative. Oh, fuck. Bats. Where? 
Coming down the hallway. Where we want to go is right past those double doors right there. Okay. Use the door. Use the door. We're trying to get into the nurse's station. Is it a good idea to go? It said omen. Omen. It does um, seem like they're almost using the environment to keep us out though. Yeah, a it's thousand like, percent. Pay attention to these signs, we're giving you omens, there's something negative down here. Which is what something we've gotten before. Mm -hmm. It's apparently a very negative spirit down there. We don't know if he's a resident or if it was one of the staff members. But just like very domineering, very negative energy. I did get the name Charles that came through. Charles. Yeah, that was the last thing to come through. Huh. Charles. That was so loud. Charles, is that you down there? I thought I saw them go up out of that door to the right. Negative. negative. The minute negative. we step into the hallway, negative. If there's somebody here that does not want us. Negative. Negative. Did you hear the voice? No, I didn't hear that. It was a male voice. It was like it said it talked exactly at the same time as that did. If there's somebody that wants us out of here. The bat's coming. <laughs> true. It just said true. <gasps> oh, it came back? Yeah. Why are they flying so low? You haven't spent much time up no, here. No, on this floor, correct? no. Okay. No, yeah. Because again, we just learned about this lady today. Earlier tonight, when we went to dinner. We just learned about the story. Yeah. Lucky. lucky. Why are we lucky? <laughs> Yeah, what's lucky about... You ever heard that, right? There's like movement in the hallway. Hello? <gasps> Yo. Can you touch that again for us? If you're in the hall? True. 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 Yeah. Is anyone here familiar with the spirit in question? The female, also known as the whaler. Or if she is here herself, can you make one of the devices go off? I have a bell in this hallway here. One ding is for yes, two is for no, so you can answer any questions of ours using that bell. Can you go to the bell and make that go off just so we know that you know how to make it work? Uh, yes. Yeah, as soon as we move it out there, like you said, the bell goes off. There it goes. Okay, cool. Betty. Betty. Betty, is that you stepping forward? Did you ring the bell? Yeah. 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 Betty is yes. that you stepping forward. It goes, yeah, right yes. away. Betty. Whoa, dude. That's crazy. Oh, it just got really <gasps> and the bell. It just got really cold right I was here. Like, I could feel the cold. <laughs> yeah, it, it got like really a, cold. It was like a cold spot and then the bell. It's like she's moving through. Yeah, she's like circulating. Yes. And then she goes off. Yes. Betty, thank you so much. Now, can you confirm with me? I just want to validate this quickly. Are you the woman that's known as the whaler? You can Ding once for yes or twice for no. I just want to make sure because I don't want to put that on you. I've got a plan. What's the plan? Okay. Do you have a room? Yeah. Okay. Should we just try and run into the, into the rooms? Good. Clear. Signal. Signal. Bat signal. Bat signal. <laughs> <laughs> we could probably get to that door down there. The wooden one right there? This one? Can you walk at them and ask them if they've gotten past the bats yet? Have you guys gotten past the bats yet? I'm just wondering. We have not. So, yeah, we're on the second floor. We're in one of the rooms. Um, there are a couple bats in the hallway, so we're just in one of the rooms, but we're getting some pretty good stuff. Okay, so they're in rooms. We're in rooms. <laughs> We got the door at least. Over halfway 
We made it. Look at that. I feel like this is kind of the hub of the entire sanatorium. <laughs> What was that? The water bottle just tipped over. Which is kind of weird. It was sitting on the, the chair there for a minute and it didn't move. <laughs> you good? Okay, Betty, let's just assume you are the lady that has been talked about. Yes. Oh yes. my God. Yes. yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I don't want you to feel like your story is being told in not a good way. We, we truly come here with respect. We came here purposely to talk to you because we do feel like you deserve to be heard, just like everyone else. We know you weren't treated right here. And we're sorry for that. We're just here to talk to you. We want to learn about what life was like here. Is that okay? Yes. Yes. Okay. Amazing. Thank you. Whoa. Did you hear that? Whoa. Did you hear that? There's somebody on the stairs. There's somebody on the stairs. There's somebody on the stairs. There's someone on the stairs. Hello? Joshua. Joshua? Is it Joshua on the stairs? Those were so loud. That was so loud. It sounded like somebody like ran down the it whole It sounded like somebody was literally... And then down the stairs. Like I'm genuinely like, did somebody... I thought is somebody, someone in this building? Yeah, I thought it was a person. Joshua. I did say I felt a man on yeah, the stairs. Yeah, you, you did. Coming up with us. Um, Yo, I can't actually, I can't actually do it like that. Hello? Can someone let me know if the person who was on the staircase right now, are they, are they cool? Be, be cool, man. <laughs> be cool. Are they nice? Are they nice? Did you see them? What in the world? That's maxing out right now. And then it just stops. So you saw who came down the stairs? If you saw who it was, can you grab that again? Okay. Is your name Joshua? Is your name Betty? That's insane. That was like, it's doing it again. I've never seen a REM pod do that. I've... I don't think I've ever seen a REM pod go off, like, in that pattern. Wow. Listen, you're doing such a phenomenal job. Like, this is amazing. That's unreal. Thank you. Can you step back? Okay, great. If this is Betty or somebody else, do you remember a woman named Alyssa that worked here? If you do, can you touch that red light again? She would have helped clean your room, taken care of you. She worked here right up until it closed. I will leave. I will I leave. leave. Too many. Too many. Since this one just went off, I'm just gonna stick a cat ball right here. Oh. oh, this light's going off. Thank you. Did you just take a seat with us? Oh, dude, that light's on too. Oh, really? All right, we're gonna go completely light side. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> We've made it dark in here as I feel like you may be a little bit more comfortable in the dark as that's how usually this building sits, is in the complete darkness. As we were trying to make our way down here, there was something or somebody telling us not to come down here. 
And I'm curious. Attach. You're not allowed to attach yourself to me. And you're also not allowed to attach yourself to Dylan. We can travel a lot if we want to see the country. Benjamin. Is Benjamin who wants to attach themselves to us? Whoa, that was close. Mm -hmm. Little silver box in my hand right here. If you speak into it, we should be able to hear your voice. Normally we can't hear you and we can't see you. So if you're down one of these hallways, you're in the nurse's station, if you can hear my voice otherwise, I'm gonna give you like 30 to 45 seconds to say whatever's on your mind. Tell me your name. Sounds like squealing or something. I thought it was like a, like an older woman. It was like almost like a laugh. It was so loud. Well, good thing we're doing this. <laughs> Three, two, one. Sounds like get out. It's like get out. Okay, let's listen. Let's see. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, I can't see. It's pitch dark in here. Try again. It's all good. That's me counting at the end. So it's like get out. That's freaky. I mean, it lines up with everything that we've gotten coming down here, though. Maybe that's the good mm -hmm. spirit that was telling us to stay out. That's right. All right, so we're going to do the same thing, only we're going to ask you some questions this time. It works exactly the same way. We're going to give you some time in between each question. Just speak as loudly and as clearly as you can, okay? Three, two, one. Why are you telling us to get out? Three, two, one. There was like a knock on the door back there. Yeah, there was two knocks. Yeah. Do you know who Charles is? Can you see us right now near the nurse's station? Are you a patient here? Do you know who Alyssa is? She told us a story about the wailing lady. Have you met her? That sounded like somebody was in the building walking down that hallway. Yeah. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but the best way to get us out of here is to chase us out of here. What? I'm so sorry. What are we saying? Okay, I'm going to turn my light off again. Okay. It freaked me out. I'm just going to keep it in my hands. Just in case? Yeah. What's up from there? This is so stereotypical, it sounds like it said, help me. Help me? Or something. Right Two now, syllables. Yeah, it sounds like it. Play it one more time. Were you here when it was a TB hospital? Did you hear that? That was like boom. In the bell. Stop. In the bell. Yo. And then the bell. Were you here when the facility was Lee Allen Bryant? Probably not. Like that's just something grabbing. That's what I mean, like that's so much different than even the pattern it was doing before. You guys can't really like gauge this, but first off, this is a concrete floor. Yeah. So we're not making that go off. 
Um, second off, this building has nothing to it. There's no electricity, there's no power, there's nothing running in here. No. Third off, it is fucking hot. Look at my hair. I am, <sighs> it's hot, it is humid, and I don't know about you, but I keep getting like a draft a every now, a cold draft every now and then that comes through here. Um, <gasps> yes. yes, yes. Is that so, you? That would be the spirit. Yeah, because we were a little before we came inside. It's 94% humidity outside. Yeah. 94% humidity. It's not cool breezes outside right now. No, no. I know we keep kind of going back to this, and I want to thank everybody who's here talking with us because this is Michael. 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 It feels like one spirit steps in, yeah. and then another one comes in, and another one, which is amazing. It's amazing. Um, but it's really hard as a medium to kind of get. Oh, I just saw a little light anomaly go that way. Um, it's hard. <gasps> yes. And Yo. it says yes. And it says yes. It just said yes. That's amazing. Thank you. Um, I'm assuming Michael or somebody just went I'm by. I'm listening to you. I'm, I'm listening, listening to you. And yes, you said Michael just went by. It says yes. And I'm listening to you. We want to listen to you too. And this is amazing. Um, I was going to go back to uh, Betty, mm -hmm. but we've got Michael, Michael got here, everybody. other people here. I want to do a quick EVP session and see if we can isolate who exactly we're talking. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, um, to see who exactly we're talking yeah. to and maybe gauge the conversation. Go from there. Go from yeah. there. Complaints. Complaints. There oh, was a lot complaints? of them here. Oh boy. <laughs> there was a lot of them here. All right, so we're gonna ask you questions now. Okay, so come up to this device in my hand. Speak as loudly and as clearly as you can. We should be able to hear you. All right, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Is Betty up here with us? Betty, are you also known as the whaler or the woman that would run around up here, unfortunately, naked? Whose room are we in? Let's see if we have some. Fuck, I sorry, I forgot that was <laughs> playing. <laughs> move, move around. Move around. We'll try. It was like whatever was here just kind of walked Flat away. Lined. Yeah. Where'd you guys go? Maybe they're the ones moving around. Oh yeah, so like they're around. like Maybe moving around. Because like, like, they said I won't around. stay. It's like a rotating. Yeah. Um, it did say I won't stay here, and yeah, I will that's leave. true. Okay. <sighs> okay. So bizarre. That's so fucking it's crazy, so dude. Weird. That's that's it actually makes, crazy. Like, everything else that already happened like that much crazier because it's just gone. Yeah, it's quiet now. Storage. storage storage i was no dude i know i was just that was my next yeah. question was do you want us to go up to a different floor the fifth storage storage the fifth floor was used as storage before it closed down that's, that was my next fucking question and that's the one that um she had said that they didn't go on and she tried to avoid it because every time she went up there she would hear doors slamming and stuff and we heard things running above us before okay <gasps> yes Ooh. yes should we check on them to see if they got past the bats I don't know. I don't want to scare them. I feel, what if they just got situated? Yeah, it would be like, funnier. <laughs> they're probably okay. Yeah, I'm sure they're okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they're fine. Footsteps. That's like the same noise. That hey, guys. Uh, so we are going to be moving up from the second floor to the fifth floor. You guys all situated? Whew, that scared me. <laughs> Yeah, we're in the nursing home and it's haunted. That noise was like the exact same like Russian noise Yeah. that came from down that hallway earlier. Can you make another noise for us? Whatever hallway you're in currently? If you want to run down the hallway, that's fine. We can hear you moving around. The 
It's like funny again. It's always when we're looking away. I'm gonna give you one of those this is what we see moments. That's it. It's pitch black in here. That's what we see. Moving the camera around. <laughs> what was that? Two knocks. Do you not like us in the nurse's station? We're not supposed to be here? Do we still have the lady here with us? The one that wanted us out? There was like talking after that too. I tried my hardest to not turn my light on until the very last minute. But the second I turned my light on, it stopped. Hello? We always say hello. It's like, what if someone actually responds? I would leave. <laughs> I cannot believe that happened. It was so loud. So now we've heard that charging, running noise coming from here, down this hallway. We heard it come from down this hallway. We heard it come down this hallway. We heard it come down this hallway. And the hallway right behind this glass here. Right from the very beginning, mm -hmm. something didn't want us here, right? Right. To be fair, we did say you're gonna have to chase us out of here. You're gonna have to physically get us out. And um, we've been charged at like three times. Yeah. And that's not just footsteps. That's like actual charging. And it's quick, yeah. Yeah, and, and you guys have seen all the footage from the bats going up and down the hall. They don't make that noise. Bats don't run. If it is an elderly woman, it's not like sprinting, right? It's kind of like a quick shuffling. Just like if it is an elderly woman and she's trying to look out for us, she's like, oh, you want to be scared, okay? I'm going to shuffle down this hallway as fast as I can. I mean, unless it was a psychiatric patient. It's fucking terrifying. I just saw something peek. Around the I just corner. saw something peek around the corner. Oh, and I'm getting that cold, that cold again. Thank you. <gasps> Light just went on. Okay. Okay. I mean, a lot of stuff going on right now. Holy shit. Don't they typically see things up on this? Yeah, floor? a lot of shadow figures up here. A lot of shadow figures. Shadow figures, figures in the hallways, going across the halls, coming down the halls. Can we ask, like, if there are people up here that do want to be known, can you come to this common area so that way we can all talk together? We'll move down to your room. You just gotta let us know where you are. If you're more comfortable talking down there. What is that? I don't know. Is that a person? Is that a voice? <gasps> No, dude, I just, oh my god, I just heard a oh. Yeah, you can hear like a, it's like a blip, yeah. it's like almost whispering. That was down there. That was down there. 100%. Do you want us to come down there? Are you in your room? Yes. Oh my god. Yes. Yes, okay. Yeah, it feels, I don't know, downstairs just felt weird. This hall just feels... Like you said, different. Right, let's give it, ah, don't touch me. Oh, that's, you know, that's interesting. It almost felt like I was being, yeah, yes. almost being pulled into this one. 513. Okay. Yes, I heard that movement too. 100% movement down here and then they said yes again. Oh, that actually felt like I was being pulled. So I guess we'll come in here. Did you want us to come down here in this room? I feel like it's not right. Uh, I feel like it's not right. Um, I don't know where to go. Not to be annoying, but I, I let. Can we go one room over? Yeah. It doesn't feel right. This one. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. We need to narrow this down. It definitely feels male. We'll throw that out there. It feels male, and I actually feel like that this spirit has a harder time communicating. Words are not great. 
What? What is it? Help speak. Help speak. Help speak. I also turned on the necrometer okay. just to see. Stop. Stop. Oh. Oh. Feels like someone's pinching me. You can't. Stop. Don't pinch. Don't hurt people. Ow. Okay. Oh my god, this is not happening right now. Cat ball. Oh. Cat ball goes off. Don't pinch. Can you not do that, please? There's other ways to communicate. And then you can't hide. You can't hide. Yes. No, dude, stop fucking touching me. I can't do that. That's gonna freak me out. Is it like pinching you? Oh my God, stop. Yo. You're not allowed to pinch her. She's allowed to be here. Spirit light. Oh. I saw your reaction to the light too, because I looked over there and then I, I realized it was over here. Okay. Okay, 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 bear with me. Bear with me. A couple things are happening here. It does feel something lower level is stepping in, but I also have a spirit here who I actually, um, I don't want to put this on anyone, but it feels like the spirit has um, difficulties communicating. Mm -hmm. Could it be autistic. Right, um, maybe nonverbal. Feels autistic, yeah, nonverbal. Yep. So it's, it's this weird, like, say goodbye. say goodbye. And then yes. I mean, listen, we don't have to be up here. Y'all asked us to come up here. Yeah, it's not on us. We were fine down there. Like, the pinching Cat ball. Oh my God. Cat ball's going off again. Say goodbye, like maybe yep. they're leaving. To the door, we're heading Bye. out. All right, well, we are about to head out of the nurse's bay right now. Thank you so much for coming forward and letting us hear you charge us. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. I hope that you know that it is okay to go down to the other floors. You don't have to stay up here. People will accept you. We just got outside the nursing home. We are walking towards the outside of Leo and Brian, the five story right now. Okay, so they're done. That just said goodbye. Yeah, so I guess they're done too. Call it. Then I'll just say this really quickly. Just know, sweetheart, you can go wherever you want to go. Please don't feel like you have to stay up here in this energy. Um, there's plenty of people downstairs that will accept you for exactly who you are. Um, and we'll love you and take care of you. Oh, we made it. We fucking made it. We just walked the entire length of the hallway. We did not see one bat. Nothing. Question, have you ever been rushed at like that before down there? We have, not that many times, I don't think though. Um, three times in a row, like the minute we turn off the lights, pretty much happens immediately after. I don't think we've ever had anything like that. Are you scared of the dark? I got a light off. You so, guys have a light on. Yeah, I was just looking to fall down the stairs. So you guys meant to get through the bats, huh? Yeah. Guys. So you guys meant to get through the bats, huh? Yeah. Guys. Did you everyone hear that scream? Twice, yeah. And that slam? Twice, yeah. Hello? People would escape from this place, wander off, and get lost in the woods for days and days and days. Yeah. And cool. die. I mean, the water, the water towers right there. People would walk off and drown in the... The water tower? Because that slam sounded like metallic. It, that actually really freaked me out because that was the first thing I thought of when I heard that scream. Yeah. It sounded like somebody like fell, fell off, off the water the, tower. Off the roof? Off the roof? Yeah, right here. This is where the guy ended up jumping off yeah. the roof. Guys, I have... The absolute chills right now, dude. You should have heard the oh footsteps. my god! Same huh. that ran down the hall and then down the stairs. You down can hear the, the metal. Stairs. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, say that again. The footsteps. We were in a room and all of a sudden you hear boom, 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 and you hear the metal railing to the stairs. Like somebody's grabbing like it. Someone's as going. Grabbing like we it. legitimately thought somebody was. We inside. thought somebody was here. We had the same thing happen. We were sitting in the middle of the nursing home after we battled the bats yeah. and got down there. And we heard, every time we turned the lights off, we would hear rushing. It was like it ran down the hallway. The minute she turned the light on, it stopped. We were turning yeah. the same thing. No, that happened three times, then three separate hallways. Yeah. Did you guys get the name Charles? Charles? No, I don't think so. No, we got get. like Mike, we got Mike. Joshua, we got Betty. Was, Betty. Betty was a big one. She claimed being the woman yeah. who was running naked and all that yeah. stuff. Okay, and Betty sounds like an older name, yeah, right? Yeah. Older woman's name. We did get a voice on the DVR. It sounds like an old lady saying, okay. get out. So it seems like every time Betty would leave us, 
it seems like she was coming to you guys. She would be interacting with our stuff for a handful of minutes at a time, and then it was literally like a light switch. It was gone. Nothing at all, no noises, no equipment, nothing. Like a handful of minutes later, all the stuff would start happening again, more noises, more footsteps, and all the equipment. It was literally like she was going back and forth. Yeah, all lines up. Yeah. I don't know. It's been a weird night. It has been a very weird so night. So weird. But you guys are gonna um, go back to this yeah. restaurant and talk to the waitress yeah. and... We'll go talk to Alyssa, see if, first of all, that sheet's gotta be hers. Right. But uh, we'll, we'll double check, see if it's her sheet, and if we can get the first name of the whaler woman, and then maybe the first name of the gentleman across the hall, because we were getting a bunch of guys' names up there too. So, we'll see. Yeah. We are now heading up to um, where we actually tried to start this investigation off. We were all huddled here about six hours ago. You were all huddled here. <laughs> you left me up there. That's, That's right. True. That's right. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah, I see him in there. Oh, ooh, he's out here. So we're going to go to the morgue, I think, right? Is that the plan? We're going to shoot it like a... You hiding behind me? No. Oh, there's another one in there, by the way. Yeah. Oh, good. We could... I think we there's could, a couple in there. Let's go up a floor. Yeah, so these are the floor. Patient rooms. And a whole other level of stairs, same thing. I feel like spirit has been dictating where we're going, right? That's what we are saying. Using the bats, <laughs> yeah. right? That's exactly what we are saying. Because we would have said. never gone into that room no. if it wasn't for the bats. Really and I'm not. so glad we did. So. Did you hear those footsteps? Yeah, it was like boom, boom. I think the whaler is here. <laughs> nope, that's a bat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Where are we going, brother? What are we doing? She's swinging the light at him. Down. All right, guys. This is like really coming for us now. It's saying, get out of here. Get out of here. Go. Everyone, be careful going down. Hi, brother. Uh, hey there. Sats don't run. I'm leaving. <laughs> She's like, I'm out of here. I thought we were okay. <laughs> we were so not okay. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. There's a couple down there. We can go out. We can go out this way. Yeah, we can okay, go this okay. way. I'm going to take this for just now. Yeah. Can you keep off it until? No, it's for me. <laughs> no, it's for me. <laughs> it's for me. <laughs> the bird was in this hallway. Yeah. Is that left right there? Spirits, yeah. follow We're us. Wrong. Spirits, follow us. We're going to the morgue. Oh, we already God. went past the morgue. The morgue's downstairs. We're going to the morgue? I don't know. Oh, dude, look here. <laughs> <laughs> it's all bad. I'm gonna try. I'm pretty sure we should have left when we heard that scream coming from the woods. That's all fucked up. When the woods start yelling at you, I think it's time. What a night. All right, guys, we're just gonna call it a night right now. I mean, this has already been an insane night, enough as it is. And these bats, like, we just can't. We would probably stay a little bit longer, but I'm done. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and also check these guys out at Haunted Nights. Link is in the description below. If you wanna join them on one of their events here at ISS, you can check that out as well. Very fun. Has everyone had a good time? I had a great time. You so guys are awesome. Oh yeah. Thank you guys for having us out. Yeah, it was a good time. Bye. 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 Thank you once again for helping us reach 75,000 subscribers. We love you so much. Remember, you can check out our full daytime walkthrough at Indiana State Sanatorium over on Members Only. And thanks again, PIA VPN, for sponsoring this episode.